My name is Jabron Lee. I'm the director of the Hillcrest After School Program. My name is Nico and I teach fifth grade after school program at Hillcrest. My name is Christian. My teacher is Mishishi. My name is uh, Morgan McDonald. I teach third grade here at the Hillcrest Elementary After School Program. Hi, my name is Jordan. I am in Ms. Nina Mazdalta's class. My name is Amaris. I am the third grade um, lead teacher. My name is Mr. Antonio Newman. I work with the fourth grade class. My name is Daniel, and my teacher is Ms. May Beth. My name is Sarah. I am the program coordinator of the after school program, and with that, I work with all of the grades at Hillcrest. My name is The Hillcrest After School Program World Fair is a enrichment, uh, it's a culminating event that basically captures a month of enrichment that after school teachers plan and facilitate. Over the course of a the month, they come up with a whole suite of activities and learning opportunities and they basically capture that in one day, which is our World Fair event. This year we um, kind of voted and we all decided on Jamaica. The country we worked on was Peru. My country was Italy. My country was France. The country I was working on was Japan. I chose the United Kingdom. I think it's important just to gain insight on the, the different, um, different cultures, different different peoples of the world is just a great way to learn. Um, I think the World Fair for us in particular has served as a means of having an adventure while staying in one place. So I think it's important to get to know about the other cultures in the world because they exist that it's important to learn about differences and it's important to learn how to cope and to appreciate those differences. Too. Um, there is a lot, there's a lot that can be learned from having or hosting So we get to know all the different things about all those countries. It's important in this day and age for it's always it's always been important for you to learn about their surroundings and, and, and their place in, in the global society we live in. I think more so now because uh, with the advent of technology and access to information, images, and visuals from around the world, you really do have a chance to, you know, connect to so many different countries and learn about what's going on in so many different countries um, through the internet. Um, you know, when I was growing up, you had encyclopedias. Now you can click on the internet and literally transport yourself to another country, talk to another person um, through online video. There's just so many uh, more opportunities for youth to engage with other cultures, but you have to be able to go into that uh, with a mindset of respect and uh, knowing that every culture is different. Um, and so our job is after school workers is basically we thought let's have this event which allows kids to learn positive things about people in different societies, make connections, and just really start to figure out their place in the world. The best parts for me were definitely walking around and seeing the different kids engaging in projects, but then also at the actual World Fair, seeing everyone's final products. So whether that was seeing um, the fourth grade's pyramid that was as tall as a basketball hoop, or seeing students making the Great Wall of China out of sugar cubes, um, dropping a pendulum and being scared that it might hit them and learning about it. So it was just getting to see everyone engage in each other's projects at the end and really walk out of it knowing a little bit more about the world. Because when we go to the place, um, um, we don't know what to say. And we need to learn how to I think it's important because I, I mean, most of the kids uh, are born and raised here in the United States, and 
throughout their whole academic lives, they just learn about U.S. history, and what's been happening here in this country, and it kind of creates this weird uh, bubble where they don't really know, you know, the culture that they came from and the cultures that are happening around the world. Uh, so, I, you know, I think it's important that we kind of expose them to these different countries um, so they can just kind of get a glimpse of, you know, not what they're missing, but, you know, what else they have. The World Fair was just very successful because it brought together parents, uh, brought together, not only were the parents able to um, interact and learn from the activities that were presented at the World Fair, all of the work that their children had been doing for the month was showcased. And so, just a great way, um, it's just one of our parent engagement um, events that we do throughout the year, and it's, this one just really focuses on showcasing student work. Some of the best successes though is just being able to see the kids getting a basic understanding of what physics is and how it applies to everything that they do and, and just allows them to view their life in the lens of science and be able to understand that everything is science. For me the successes involved those epiphanies that came with learning something new about um, the country that we were working on, um, especially <laughs> involving food. I feel like the projects that involved food and learning about the foods of Peru were the most appealing to the kids. Um, so we made a dish called Gausa and um, I had no idea that it was going to be so exciting for the students that were so into it. And I think um, for me, it was successful to see how the success came from seeing how excited the students were and how um, how willing they were to participate and learn. I think the World Fair is just a great example how a lower income school can still throw a great event without spending a ton of money and I think that our staff, due to our budget, we have to strive really hard to think outside the box. and. I think we did it and I think this is just one of the many events that we've put on successfully because every person in our staff has the same goal to just really give these kids um, the activities and the cultural climate that they deserve to grow up in. I would say I just like, want to reiterate that Ocrest is a really special place. Um, it's very diverse. We have students that come from all over. Whether that's Brazil or El Salvador or Vietnam or China, there's students from all over the world. So it's so important for them to get to teach others about themselves, but also to learn that there's other places out there that are special in the world um, and kind of the reasons why they're special.